Broadly speaking, there are two kinds of snowboard binding. Softer models like this, aimed at beginners and freestyle riders, and stiffer models, which are more suited to aggressive carving across the piste, powder and halfpipe. Picking up a freestyle binding, the first thing to notice is the flex on the high back. Made from thinner, more malleable plastic, it allows you to generate movement which is ideal for tweaking out tricks or subtly shifting your weight when riding rails. Though less noticeable to the naked eye, the base plate and heel cup on this kind of binding will also be less rigid, adding to the feeling of slight flexibility. Soft bindings like these are generally more comfortable to ride and more forgiving of mistakes, since minor errors in technique are not immediately transferred into the edge. By contrast, the high back on this Travis Rice Pro model binding is super stiff, providing rapid response when initiating a heel side turn and maximum support for the kind of heavy landings a burly rider like Travis is likely to encounter. High performance bindings like this might incorporate aluminium into the base plate, which is stiffer and stronger than plastic yet lightweight, and perhaps carbon in the high back. These days, most bindings include some form of cushioning over the base plate. If you're likely to be doing big tricks, then look for thicker foam to dampen landings. But if you're sticking primarily to the piste, then you may prefer the extra board feel that comes from a thinner footbed. Canted bindings, like this one, are slightly higher on the outside of the footbed than the inside. This subtly tilts your feet inwards, which many people find more natural and comfortable, particularly if they suffer from knee pain. Another important element are the straps. The ankle strap is the most crucial. It should offer plenty of comfort and support, so look for wide straps with good cushioning and ideally see how they fit with your boot. The ratchet mechanism should crank smoothly closed without slipping and pop open easily. Most toe straps are designed to go over the corner of your boot, though some can be tightened over the top. See what feels best. Look for tools-free adjustment on all straps, since this would enable you to customize the fit with minimum fuss. Having selected a binding, it's vital you get the right size. If the binding is too small, straps will struggle to reach over your boot and your toe will stick out from the footbed, decreasing board control. Too large and you won't get a snug fit. A correctly sized binding should fit your boot something like this. Finally, double check that your chosen binding is compatible with your board. Specifically, Burton's EST range of bindings, featuring a slot on either side, cannot be fitted onto standard 4x4 insert holes. These bindings are designed exclusively for the channel system found on Burton and Endeavour boards. <laughs>